Men in dresses. Mm. This has been a contentious subject for a long time. You ever seen the interview with Dave Chappelle when he's talking about his conspiracy theories about why do they, in films, why do they always want a black man in a dress? There's a whole story about when um, a writer kept trying to uh, crowbar in a scene where Dave Chappelle had to wear a dress in uh, Blue Street. He was like, oh, no, I don't, I don't see why, I'm, why you want me to wear a dress. Uh, Dave Chappelle goes a little bit of a conspiracy tirade about there is something about always putting black men in dresses. Something like that. A lot of people talk about that. I mean, like, I mean is that, is that you know, going headfirst into conspiracy loony land? I mean, it's, it's, it, it has all the hallmarks of it. But the whole thing of the man in a dress... Always raises it head every now and again. And here's an article by Awa Madawi, and probably one of the most overpaid journalists in history. Um, if you thought Owen Jones um, shouldn't <laughs> be writing articles, Awa literally just writes throwaway nonsense, more throwaway nonsense than I've, I've ever witnessed in my life. I mean, uh, so constantly, if I see an article by her, I have to, um, you know, um, mock it, basically, because, um, I mean, I, she's, I, just, I don't know how, it, I, I, like, every week she hands something in and they go, good work, Ara, good work, like, is that what happens? It's crazy. How, does, how did this happen? How did you happen? Oh, well, that's mental. But masculinity is a trap, which is why more men should wear skirts. Okay, right. You know, if you want to talk about the attack on masculinity, it's not like it's so white, but it, 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 it's, it's become way too mainstream now. You know, it was a fringe thing, but now it's like the, the, the real attack on masculinity is, um, is, is terrible. Like being masculine, is, is, it's been turned into a dirty word. Right. But it's not. Right. Being a man, being a masculine man, um, has so many positives. Um, you know, we don't want little boys running around. We've had too many little boys running around, and now they want to create even more little boys. You know, uh, being a bit of masculinity, being a man, is about taking responsibility. It's, it's f foremost. It's about being a provider. Like, but they seem to want to destroy all that. Uh, for some bizarre reason, they want everyone to be a little man boy. I don't know why. You tell me. I haven't got a clue. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not exactly like a man's man. It's not like I'm going out. Do you know what I mean? I'm not like the most man's man of man's man. You know, just because I've got short hair and uh, talk the way I talk, like, doesn't mean I'm like Mr. Man's man, all right? But still understand the benefits of masculinity, real masculinity. But anyway, whatever. Clothes traditionally worn by women are becoming part of the mainstream of men's fashion and helping break the straight jackets of prescribed roles. Now, the only thing I would say about prescribed roles, um, what annoys me is that <coughs> when you have red carpet events and stuff like that, which is nothing to grumble about, or a wedding, you know, or a funeral, you know, ladies can wear sort of all sorts of different sort of garbs, and we just got to wear this suit. And it's just a suit. It's boring to me. But you know what I do? I don't wear a suit. Uh, so problem solved. There, there you go. I just, I just go, no, I'm, I, I, no, it's not like I'm a massive conformist. Like, no, I'm not wearing that. I don't, I don't want to wear that. I'll wear what I want to wear. It doesn't mean I've got to go wear a dress. You know, so. Straight jacket prescribed roles. Look at this. Billy Porter is a singer, actor, and man of fashion. He is also a man who isn't afraid to wear a skirt. Porter wore a tuxedo dress to this year's Oscars and rocked a very fabulous, very pink, uterus-inspired suit gown to the Tony Awards. Okay, well, I'm going to put that to, this to you. He looks ridiculous. I'm just going to say, he looks ridiculous. Look, you know, there's nothing wrong with, like, dressing how you want to dress, like, but you can openly say, you look ridiculous. Do you know what I'm saying? Because fashion does dictate. This whole feminization thing is probably a fad. Uh, many things are fads. Uh, so in, in ten years' time, you know when, you know the, the androgynous stages of David Bowie 
I mean, you, you, it's very telling of the time because you look back at it and go, well, he does look a bit, you know, I don't say, oh, he looks fabulous. I think mean, he, he looks a bit silly, didn't he, really? But at the time, he probably looked cool as fuck. You know? That looks awful. <laughs> it looks terrible. I'm not going to lie. That looks terrible. It's so, I would, you know, it, it just looks, that looks horrible. It's, it's gross. It's gross. That is like, not, cause, not even because it's a dress. But look at the dress. It's, look at the whole thing itself. It's just like, ugh, what is that like? Do you know what I mean? That's just, it's just like, oh, that's, that's not, it doesn't look good. You know, didn't even wear a good tuxedo dress. Not everyone can pull off an upcycled velvet curtain, but it is a shame more dudes don't try. Why? Why is it a shame? Hmm? As Porter told Stephen Colbert during an appearance on The Late Show, men's clothing norms are mired in misogyny. Women wearing pants is powerful, the 49-year-old said. It's strong, everybody accepts it, and it's associated with the patriarchy. Okay, well, we know where your loony talking points are coming from. Except with it, what? Women wearing pants is like, like so many women wear trousers and shit, like jeans and shit. It's, it's not a thing for people to go, oh, well, she looks more manly, therefore I respect her more. Well, it's not a thing. Do you know why, people, do you know why most men like girls in, 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 in jeans and, and, and leggings or whatever? It's because their asses look good, you know? So I, I hate to break it to you. It's just a very simple system going, hmm, good. Um, however, the minute a man puts on a dress, it's disgusting. So what are you saying? Men are strong, women are disgusting. I'm not doing that anymore. If I feel like wearing a dress, I'm going to wear one. No, that's not. You see, you totally, your point of view and everything that's inside your brain dictates how you see that. That's your reason. You're like, the minute a man puts on a dress, it's disgusting. So what you're saying, men are strong, women are disgusting. Talk about jumping to a whole load of conclusions with your triggered brain. Like, <laughs> like all right, you need to chill out. Do you know what? Because men look stupid in dresses. All right? How about that? You look stupid in a dress. Dresses were designed for women. Right? Long, long ago, they made stuff to suit people. Do you understand what I'm saying? That looks good on her. That looks good on him. It just looks good. It fits. Women look good in dresses. They were designed, high heels were designed for women because they look good. It accentuates their body. Right? Do you want me to explain how this, or I'm no like, I'm not like an expert on the history of fashion trends, but I do understand how it works and why it looks good. <laughs> but you're saying, no, it's been dictated to, 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 to what? To what? Oppress people? Is now fashion's there to oppress? Right? You know, all the beliefs that Gianni Versace had about like um, making women feel wonderful and amazing. He was very passionate about his, his clothing. It was like how it makes a woman feel. You know, he designed clothes for his sister because he went, I want women to feel like this is how I want them to feel when they're wearing this dress or wearing this. He's very much a believer in, like, a lover of women and how they should feel when they're wearing his clothes, right? Because they were designed for women so he can make them feel good. Right, do you understand the passion that comes from that? Right, it didn't, Gianni Versace wasn't there going, oh, I want to oppress this bitch. Like, no, you nut job. Like, come on, stop it. You know, it is sad so many men are petrified about seeming effeminate. It is sad that it is not socially acceptable for men to experiment with fashion in the same way women can. But it's not necessarily socially acceptable for women to uh, experiment with certain fashions. If you look stupid, if you think someone looks stupid, like have you seen Lena Dunham when she's wearing that fucking suit? She looks like an idiot. But it's Lena Dunham saying, so well, what do you expect? She's an idiot anyway. Like, no one's there going, oh, well, she shouldn't be doing it. Oh, no, my, my patriarchal brain says to me that's wrong. It's like, no. It's like, oh, my goodness. My goodness. Stop it. You know. Happily, however, things are changing gradually. No one looks twice at a guy with a man bun or a man bag anymore. Yes, we do. We think you rate yourself too heavy. If you go around with a man bun, you look silly. If you wear a man bag... You're, you're sort of um, you're sort of, sort of saying I've got a man bag on. You're like what? You look silly wearing that, you know. 
the benefits of being a man is that we have these pockets that we can put all our stuff in because we don't have to carry too much stuff. Do you know why? Because we're low maintenance because we're supposed to be out there doing stuff. There's women that have to carry around all these silly things in a women's handbag is, is everything. You know, it's impractical. So you don't need it. What you got in your man bag exactly? What is in there that you need? Everything can fit in my pockets that I need for a day. Do you know what I mean? What are you expecting to go? What are you expecting? Is it, what? You got a gun in there? Fucking fold up tent? You know? Like an instant nuclear bunker in case something really bad happens. You got a canoe? You got a canoe in your man bag just in case? I got my canoe in case there's a massive biblical flood. You don't need one. It fits in your pockets. Do you understand how this works? Male makeup is a growing industry. Yeah, for men that likes to wear makeup. Right? That's for men that like to wear makeup. Male rompers were a thing for a while. Yes. And everyone thought they looked silly too. Female rompers look silly too. While a man in dresses... While men in dresses are still considered noteworthy, guys such as Porter are sashaying into the mainstream. The rapper Young Fug is fond of skirts, but he's an artist. Do you understand the difference between Young Fug wearing his dresses and looking the way he does? Like, he is an alien. Like, he's a cool, weird alien, and that's how he puts that image across, is by wearing dresses. The fact is, he's still got his masculine shit on, on tight because Young Fug is called Young Fug. And he's often in post on Instagram carrying guns. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? The dude's called Young Thug. He's proud of his gang affiliation. And he's always posing with guns. So he, he kind of makes up for that fact, doesn't he? He's kind of compensating for that in a way. Right. But he's an alien. He's an artist. Like, you know, if I want to wear a dress... Uh, Jaden Smith frequently unapologetically dons dresses. If I want to wear a dress, then I will. And that will set the new wave again. Like Jaden Smith's kind of trying to be an alien. <clears throat> he is a bit of an alien. You know, he'll wear dresses because they can pull it off because they're totally out there people. Out there people will dress how they want. Meanwhile, London Fashion Week featured so many men breezing along in gender fluid fashion that GQ proclaimed 2019 is the year men will start wearing skirts. I certainly hope so. Masculinity is a straitjacket. It's high time more men broke free. No, I will. No, it's not a straight jacket. No, it's a set of conditions to make you good. <laughs> it's not a straight jacket at all. You know? Be it, like, no. Because you're just introducing a whole new thing of, of peer pressure anyway. Of pressure of like, oh, you need to be free. You need to, you need to do this. You need to let your emotions run free. You need to be more like this. You need to be more like that. You need to be less like that and less like that. <clears throat> you're saying there's these conditions put onto men for, because of masculinity, and yet you're making conditions for them. Going, well, you are in a, you know, you, you're not embracing your your emotions enough. You need to do that. Oh, you need to wear a dress because otherwise you're, you know, you're re retarded. Like, what, what is it? Like, do you know what I'm saying? It's like, no. You're saying we're in a straitjacket of conditions and you're making conditions. New conditions of what men should and shouldn't be. <clears throat> uh, no, no. We're not going to wear dresses because it's stupid. Some people can... Some people can pull it off. Some people can walk around looking absolutely ridiculous and not look ridiculous. And some people just look ridiculous. You know, but don't go around telling me about what is and what isn't about wearing dresses and wanting to effeminize men. If men don't want to be effeminate, then they don't have to be. If women don't want to be masculine, they don't have to be. If they want to be, let them be. But don't be going around saying this is such a great thing that all men should be doing this. It's just fine. But don't tell me that this dude looks good. Because that is a terrible dress. It's awful. That's awful. Right, I've seen young Fug wearing his dresses and stuff. And he looks way better than that. All right? That's terrible. So the standard you're presenting us as a, as a good case for your argument is flawed.